Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge mini series for Command MC. And today we're going to talk about setting yourself up for success with regards to custom items inside of your recruits. And those are custom brokerages, lead sources, and tags. I'm going to show you why that's important first and then kind of give you some best practices. So if we come into our recruits applet, we're inside of Command MC and we go to add a recruit. Now, if we want to add a recruit to either recruit management or directly to the pipeline, either way, we're going to use this add recruit button. And when we use that add recruit button, you're going to see there's a lot of data to fill out. And we're going to come back and actually do a walkthrough of adding a recruit working all the way through this. However, when you come down to the additional information section, you're going to see three really important categories, and that's brokerage, lead source, and tags. Now, brokerage, you'll see if you click on the drop down, there are already brokerages built into Command MC recruit pipeline. However, once we hit Sotheby's International, you're going to see that it's alphabetical for these first 10 or so. And then it resets to numeric and alphabetical from there. So you do have the ability to come in and create custom brokerages should you choose to. Here's a word of, word of warning. I would make sure that your entire leadership team is all on the same page. For example, if there was a Coldwell Banker um, office or more than one office in your area, you're adding a recruit from Coldwell Banker as the team leader and you put their brokerage name as Coldwell Banker. Then your uh, assistant team leader comes along, they're recruiting someone from Coldwell Banker and they could put them in as Coldwell Banker, uh, Premier, Katie, whatever. And then the uh, MCA is also working with a recruit from Coldwell Banker and they put them in as Coldwell Banker, Katie. Well, now you have three potential recruits all being recruited from the same office. However, as far as the brokerage name goes, you've now given them three separate brokerage names because each time someone came in, didn't realize that someone else on their team was on a different page and created a custom brokerage. So I might even limit who has the ability to create custom brokerages. You can't do that in command per se, but as a leadership team say, this is the one person that can create custom brokerages. Uh, if you are looking to create a brokerage that's not on this list, you would basically just come in and type in the name of this brokerage, not on this list, right? Let's just pretend that's the name of the brokerage and I can click on add brokerage, not on this list. That would add that brokerage name to this list. Again, you'll just want to be really careful because I imagine there might be times where you're saying, how many people in our pipeline do we have from Coldwell Banker. Well, if you did a filter by brokerage name, you'd have to choose Coldwell Banker and then Coldwell Banker Katie and then Coldwell Banker Katie Premier and all the different ways that your leadership team has put in Coldwell Banker. So I'm not saying that you can't have multiple brokerages all under the same umbrella. If that's how you choose to do it, I would just make sure your leadership team is all on the same page. The same thing holds true for lead source. So when you come down to lead source, you're going to see that there are some lead sources that are already added for you. Everything from referral up to career events is hard coded into your system. However, just like on brokerage, you have the ability to come in and create custom lead sources as well. That's just as simple as typing in the name of the custom lead source and then choosing to add it to your list. Again, though, you want to be careful if someone is saying, uh, they are using the actual Ron here, real estate schools, but I'm not aware of that. So I'm putting in champion school of real estate and someone else isn't aware of that. And they're just putting in champions. And then a third per fourth person is just coming along and putting uh, champions, real estate school, Friday career nights, whatever, right? You might end up having multiple lead sources, all directing back to the same lead source. You're looking for your ROI on the investment you've made in recruiting ads or lunches spent or events held, and you're trying to find out if it's worth it. So you're trying to find out how many recruits came from one specific lead source. And if your entire team has been naming that lead source four or five different ways, that could get very difficult. So have a conversation around lead sources, just like you would around brokerage. Finally, tags. You're going to see a series of green tags inside of this list. 
those tags are already hard coded for your use inside of command MC. Just like with lead sources and brokerages, you also have the ability to create custom lead sources. And you can see some of the custom lead sources that have been created inside of our demo account here. So if you want to create a custom tag, it would just be as simple as coming in and creating the name, <clears throat> right? Someone's already done this, obviously. Um, and I could put in custom tag two and then click on create. It'll ask me what color and then I can save it from there. Just one more time, I would make sure that your entire leadership team is all on the same page with regards to what tags mean what in your world. Again, this is gonna go back later on when you're filtering. If you're looking to filter how many people in your pipeline, how many people have joined, how many are in your recruit management tool from a specific tag, if the entire leadership team is not using that tag appropriately, it's going to skew your results. So before you begin adding any new recruits, my recommendation is that you have a leadership team meeting around Command MC and that you draw up a list of quote unquote approved brokerages, lead sources, and custom tags. And then you decide who in the room is going to have the responsibility for adding anything new after that meeting. And then it might be someone who's just the gatekeeper that says, hey, I'd like to add a new custom tag. You send out an all call to the leadership team. Hey, everybody good with this? And then you add it from there. That way everybody is on the same page with regards to your command MC recruit management and pipeline tools. That's it for today's video guys. Basically just a rundown on how to create those three items and some best practices around them. Tomorrow we'll actually do a full ad of recruit and walk you through what that process looks like. Talk to you then, thanks.